Everyone, today we have a psalm of divine silence. O Lord, God of my salvation, at night when I cry out before you, let my prayer come before you. Incline your ear to my cry, for my tr soul is full of troubles, and my life draws near to the grave. You have put me in the depths of the pit, in the regions dark and deep. Your wrath lies heavy upon me, and you overwhelm me with your waves. Are your wonders known in the darkness? You Are your saving help in the land of forgetfulness? But I, O oh Lord, cry out to you. In the morning my prayer comes before you. O oh Lord, why do you cast me off? Why do you hide your face from me? You have caused friend and neighbor to shun me. Darkness is my only companion. So we have here, I think, the darkest lament in all of Scripture. Now, the lament psalms are usually not a lot of fun. Uh, but this one is kind of unique because that the ending that I read is the end of the psalm. It doesn't end in any word of confidence or praise like most lament psalms still do. Instead, it ends in the silent darkness. So we kind of have to ask, what is this doing in our Bible? You know, there's several things about it make it kind of uncomfortable for us. For one, it blames God for all of these problems. He's not just saying bad stuff is happening. He's saying, God, you are doing this. You are putting me in this place. Uh, and so it's, I think it's here because we've all probably felt this way. Uh, even if we wouldn't say it. And, you know, if we definitely wouldn't make it into a public worship song, which is what the Psalms, again, are. So it's a reminder that everything must be brought before God, even the feeling that God is not there or maybe he's even working against us somehow. Uh, the writer Walter Brueggemann says that the failure of God to respond does not lead to atheism or doubt in God or rejection of God. It leads to more intense address. If this person really thought that God was not there, that God was not listening at all, he wouldn't bother saying or writing all this. So is your faith that strong? What does God have to do to be God? This psalm gives us permission to shout at the seemingly silent heavens when we need to. And recognize that even that, too, can be an act of faith. Sometimes, silence is necessary. So, know when you need to say something, and know when there are no words. To know that we can't always fix our problems with a simple prayer, but sometimes we just have to let them be and be present in the darkness.